Figure 6.1 shows an object, the tip of which is labeled O, placed near a lens, L. The two principal foci on the lens are F1 and F2. A. On figure 6.1, draw the path of the two rays from the tip of the object so that they pass through the lens and continue beyond. Complete the diagram to locate the image of the tip and uh, of the object, draw in full image and label it as I. So, this is a convex lens and this is an object. If we want to determine the position and properties of the image form by using the convex lens to this object, which is found after or before F, before the focal length, means between the optical center and principal focus. So, how can we draw the image of this object? The first ray will be parallel to the principal axis. What will happen? It will refract, pass it through the focus. So, it will refract like this. The second ray passed through the optical center, undeviated, it will not refract, it will pass in a straight line, as you see. And after that, I'll draw the extensions of these two rays. So, this is the image. He said, label it as I. So, this is I. And these are the directions, as you see. After that, describe the image I. The image I is enlarged and virtual and erect or upright. So, enlarged virtual erect or upright. Four. Figure 6.1 shows two rays of monochromatic light, one entering the prism along the normal DE, and the second R1 along PQ. A. State what is mean by monochromatic light. Actually, monochromatic light it's a light that has definite wavelength and frequency. So, light that has definite definite frequency or wavelength okay b the refractive index of the glass of the prism is 1.49 the ray fe is refracted at F. Ray Fe is refracted at F. Use the information from figure 6.1 to calculate the angle of refraction at F. He asked me to calculate the angle of refraction. And he gave me the angle of incidence, which is equal what? 30. And also N, which is the refractive index, equal 1.49. Actually, N, which is the refractive index, equal sine angle in air divided by sine angle in medium. Sine angle in air, which is R, divided by sine angle in medium, which is I. So, we can write N equal sine R divided by sine I. So, I want to calculate sine R. So sine R equal N times sine I. So R equal N per sine N times 
sin i. So it will be equal sin negative one for the sin i, which is thirty times n, which is one point forty nine. It will be forty eight point two. Forty eight point two degree. So this is the answer. Okay. See. On figure six point one, draw the in the refracted ray starting at f, with with this angle, which is forty eight point two. Forty eight point two. So as you see, the light ray will refract but will refract away from the normal. Why? Because it moves from where? From denser medium to rare medium. So, it will refract like this. You should draw this angle more than this angle, which is 48.2. 48.2 degree. Okay. D. State how the refraction starting at F would be different if the monochromatic ray were replaced by a ray of white light. Actually, dispersion will happen. Dispersion will happen. So, dispersion means seven spectrum colors. Seven spectrum colors. Okay. The critical angle for the glass of the prism is just over 42. You know the critical angle of the glass equal 43. State the approximate angle of refraction for the ray striking BC at R. Striking BC, BC at R. What about the angle of refraction? If this angle equal 43, the angle of refraction will be equal 90. Why? Because you know the meaning of critical angle. The critical angle is the angle of incidence in the denser medium, where the angle of refraction in the rare medium equal 90. So, here, the angle of incidence equal 42. So the angle of refraction, it will be, except any value from 80 to 90 degree. So, any value you can write any value from 80 to 90 approximate 90 after that another monochromatic ray not shown in figure 6.1 passes through the prism and strikes BC at an angle of incidence of 50 degrees State what happens to this ray at the point where it is strikes BC. Here we have angle of incidence equal 50, more than critical angle, greater than the critical angle. So what will happen? Total internal reflection happen. So total internal reflection will happen. That's it. Next. Figure 6.1 shows part of the path of the ray of light PQ traveling in an optical fiber. PQ undergoes total internal reflection at Q. At Q. A. Explain what is meant by total internal reflection and state the conditions under which it occurs. As you know, the meaning of total internal reflection. Total internal reflection happens when the light ray falls with an angle more than critical angle. So total internal reflection happens. And the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection. So, incident ray in dense medium and Angle of incidence will be greater than the critical angle and ray reflected with I equal R angle of incidence 
will be equal to the angle of reflection because you have three marks so we divide the answer into three uh, steps after that carefully complete the path of the ray of light until it reaches the end arm of the optical fiber until it reach this end arm so as you know the instant ray will reflect and total internal reflection happen why because the instant angle will be more than the critical angle so it will reflect but take care the instant angle will be equal to the reflected angle so it will move out from r due to the and this is the reflected ray it will move out from r and the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of what? angle of reflection